Welcome back everyone. Adam here at the Digital Gojo Showroom. Attention all you videographers out there. We're gonna show you a Manfrotto product that will take your videos to a whole new cinematic level. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing overview of the Manfrotto 100 centimeter slider. The first part of the video is gonna cover what Manfrotto provides you with the purchase of the slider. Second part, we're gonna take a closer look at the slider, its features, and how to use it. And finally, we're gonna show you some sample footage of what it's like to use the 100 centimeter slider from Manfrotto. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have the 100 centimeter slider from Manfrotto. Let's take a look and see what's inside. As you notice, Manfrotto makes sure that the, the slider is packed really well. So we're gonna set the packaging material aside. Uh, the first thing you're gonna notice, we have the warranty information and we have an Allen wrench uh, for, for tightening any bolts that are on the slider itself. Hold on to the information. Remember, this is a US warranty product. You have up to five years. Uh, it comes with a standard one year warranty. Uh, but if you register the product with Manfrotto, you get up to five year warranty with them. So the first thing we're going to also notice is that Manfrotto provides you a branded carry bag actually for the slider. It's a really nice bag that you can keep along with it, keep it from getting scratched. Let's get the slider out. And here it is, the 100 centimeter slider. All right, so let's go on and take a closer look at the features of the slider. So as you saw in the unboxing, this is a long slider. It's 100 centimeters, which is approximately 39.4 inches in length. Uh, the camera actually only travels 34.2 inches. Um, if you're looking for something that's more compact, easier to travel with, take a look at Manfrotto's 60 centimeter slider. So when you see the Manfrotto label, you know you can expect excellent build quality. This is cut from a solid block of aluminum, supports 22 pounds. That means it can support any mirrorless camera, any DSLR, or even a cinema camera like those from Canon or Sony. So there are many different types of sliders out there on the market. This particular one uses the roller bearing system. It has steel ball bearings with polymer wheels. This is gonna provide you with a very smooth movement for your slide. Uh, if we take a look at the carriage, there are two knobs. There's a red knob, which is your locking knob. This is gonna secure your camera in place when you wanna lock it down. Uh, then there's the black knob. This is your friction knob. This is gonna control the flow of the camera at the time of the slide. If we take a look at the ends, there are rubber bumpers. This is gonna absorb some shock in case the camera hits either end. So let's take a look at the top of the carriage. You'll notice that there is a 3 8 mounting thread. Uh, this is gonna allow you to attach your favorite video head or photo head. Uh, one of my favorites right now is the Manfrotto Nitro Tech N8 video head. Uh, but you can use anything from like the 500 series. You can use your favorite ball head. Now using a video head will give you very smooth pan and tilt when moving your camera. Uh, but if you use a photo head, you'll be able to get more creative angles for your shot. So let's take a look at the bottom of the slider. You'll notice that there are three different connection points. Each connection point will have either a quarter 20 or three eighths mounting thread. Uh, this will allow you to attach it to either a light stand or camera tripod. Um, since this is a long slider, I definitely recommend having two stands connected to the slider. Uh, this will provide you with more support and keep it from wobbling. Also keep it from tipping over when you have the camera all the way out to either end. Um, if you're gonna connect it to one tripod, I definitely recommend using it with a heavy duty video tripod. Um, attaching it to a video head will allow you to get different angles, be a little bit more creative with your shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the slider. If you're gonna use two stands, and you wanna make sure that the slider is level. Uh, Manfrotto has included a bubble level on top of the carriage. I always prefer to make sure that the slider is level before even attaching my head to the slider. If you're gonna attach it to a single tripod, I definitely recommend something like the 504 uh, video head. Um, and so let's get the 501 PL long plate. I'm gonna attach that to the center point um, with the 3 8 thread. Um, once you have that mounted to the bottom, then you can go ahead and slide it into the video head. Uh, so now that we have the slider attached to your stand, you can go ahead and attach your favorite video head or photo head to the top of the slider. And now you're ready to attach the camera. Once the camera is secured in place, you're now ready to add some extra dimension to your video.
So I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Manfrotto 100 centimeter slider. If this video helped you out, hit that like button underneath, subscribe to our channel. And if you're in the Miami area, come say hello to us at the Digital Gojo showroom. Adam here, keep on shooting. I'll catch you in the next video.